Hi everyone, in this software tutorial I will show how to create this glitch spectrum animation. So let's start with a new composition. I will name this audio map 1920-1090 and 24fps and I will go with 1 minute duration. Hit OK. Now let's add a solid. I will name this audio map. Hit OK. Now bring our audio layer here. Let's go to effect control. Now let's add a audio spectrum effect. Perfect. Now select this start point, put it here and select this in point and put it down. Something like this. And let's change the color to white. Perfect. Now select our audio layer in the audio layer option and let's set the frequency band to 60 and maximum height to maybe 7000 these values will be depend on your uh, audio layer so you guys have to find the best value for your audio something like this would be great okay perfect now select the audio layer and add fast box blur effect set decoration to 1 and blur dimension to maybe a uh, horizontal let's crank this up to maybe 100 10. okay now add offset effect to the layer let's bring it down so it will in the middle of the comp let's close this up for now let's also turn off the uh, fastbox blur for now now add the mosaic effect set the horizontal blocks to 1 vertical blocks to maybe 80 Now we don't have any background, so we can add solid composite effect to the layer. Set it to black. Okay. Now we have a background. Now also add exposure effect. So we can crank up this white value. Something like this. Maybe 6. Ok perfect, now turn on the fast box layer, maybe let's crank this up a bit, 150, ok, now let's duplicate this audio map, let's go to the audio map 2, we can uh, disable this mosaic effect, ok guys, We can also reduce maybe blur a little bit and display with maximum height. Let's reduce this to maybe 4000. Let's maybe increase the pass box blur a bit. Okay, perfect. Now we have uh, two audio maps. So let's create a new composition for composite both audio maps. I will name this audio composite. Same settings, hit OK. Let's bring it here. Let's select both layers and drag it down. I will switch off one audio layer. Now bring this down, set this layer to screen mode. Now let's turn off this for now, go to the below layer and add colorama effect. Go to vector control, 
go to output cycle and set this to maybe ramp grade. Set the press shift to maybe 30. So it will add a little bit gray color to the background. Add motion tile effect. I will set to output width to 400. So it won't add any hard edges to both of sides. And add fast box play effect again. Make sure you tick the uh, repeat edge pixel. Okay, perfect. Now select the pass box blur effect and control C to copy and go to the upper layer and press control V to paste. This do some adjustment to the blur radius as you can see our map is react to the audio now create another new composition I will call this displacement map okay, let's bring it here Drag our audio composite layer here. We don't need to see it, so let's turn off. Now add our image. I got this image from unsplash.com. I will put the uh, link in the description if you guys want to download this image or you guys can use your own image. Press S on your keyboard to scale it down. Okay. Now add the adjustment layer, right click, new, adjustment layer, rename this as displacement map. Okay, let's add this displacement map here. Here set the displacement map layer to our audio composite layer. As you can see, it already react to the audio. Pretty cool. We can set the max vertical displacement to 0 and increase the max horizontal displacement to maybe, okay, maybe 30. You guys can duplicate this and set max horizontal displacement to 0. And max vertical displacement to maybe okay, 60. We can use offset effect to bring it up, something like this. Okay, pretty cool. If you guys also have displacer pro effect. From plugin everything this is absolutely free plugin i will put the uh, link in the description if you guys want to download i really recommend using this effect after you apply this go to map layer and set it to audio composite and we can play with translate x translate y the option for scale and rotation you guys can play with this the cool option of this script is uh, it has built-in uh, chromatic aberration effect so if you go to here you can see the option for chromatic aberration you can add some red values green this looks pretty cool this effect also work with color layers if you guys put something color let's reduce it also react to the audio we 
if you want to put any text I will quickly add a text and put it below displacement and it will also react There you go guys and that's about it and thank you so much for watching this tutorial and I wish you guys in the next week. Have a great day.